We all know that using oxalic acid during broodless periods is a great addition to your usual Varroa mite control strategies. Using the battery-powered ProVap allows you to use your own 18 to 20 volt lithium ion batteries such as DeWalt, Bosch, Milwaukee, or Makita and get rid of trailing extension cords tangling around your feet and your hives. A spring-loaded dispenser with choices of 1 to 4 grams of oxalic acid makes measuring and filling easy and fast. There's no separate fill cap and no need to flip the vaporizer. Let's get oriented at the yard and show how this works. We're ready to go with goggles, gloves, and a respirator with organic acid slash vapor filters. The apibioxyl oxalic acid is in the jar. Just poke the dispenser in and get a measured dose easily at each colony. The batteries are charged fully. You'll need something at least four amp hours. These are six amp hour batteries. We shut the entrances of these double nukes, except for a small gap. You can also shut the entrances completely and use a drilled hole. That will hold the ProVap and you don't have to keep your hand on it. Pull the dispenser up out of the top of the ProVap. This dispenser is a key part of the speed of the battery-powered ProVap. Turn the dial here on the plunger to choose your dose. Now slide on a battery to get the initial heating up phase started. This took five and a half minutes at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This detail is glossed over in most other videos. Watch them carefully. This here is an honest and accurate portrayal of using a battery-powered oxalic acid vaporizer. After the initial heating up, it holds the heat very well and bounces back to 230 degrees Celsius very quickly between colonies. And you'll see that here in a bit. I'll use this waiting period to get the safety gear on. Wow, these gloves are big enough for my brother. Glasses off, goggles on. Not quite up to 230 Celsius, but it'll be ready in a bit. At 230 degrees, the solid oxalic acid dihydrate crystals become a cloud of fumes that erupts out of the nozzle and distributes tiny OA crystals all over the bees, mites, combs, and hive equipment. What's best for vaping OA are temps when the bees are mostly inside but not tightly clustered in there. 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit is best, and remember, it's a broodless period. All mites are exposed on the bodies of the bees. I'll dip the dispenser into the oxalic acid, and it will pick up the chosen amount every time. Hold the dispenser, insert the ProVap into the colony, and now put the dispenser into the ProVap. Push on the top and the OA falls into the heating chamber. On this cold day, each complete treatment takes about 45 seconds. Now I'm watching the display as the temp of the ProVap drops. As the OA is vaporized, it uses heat, so the temperature drops. When it's all vaporized, the chamber is empty and the temperature begins to climb again. Okay, that one is done and I know that because the temperature on the digital display is bouncing up. I'm filling the dispenser as I keep watching the temperature. There, it's gone above 230 Celsius. Let's put it into nuke number two. I've sped up the video here because it got really repetitive for you. I also was able to speed up my technique, and the ProVap kept heating and reheating quickly. The average reheat time was 24 seconds. My average treatment time was 21 seconds. And the same for hives as nukes, even though the dose for hives was twice as large. So an honest statement of the per colony treatment time is 45 seconds. Most videos only report the 20 second vaporization time with dramatic fumes blowing away across the field. But right here, this is realism. Today I treated 26 colonies on the same six amp hour battery 
that I did the initial heat up with. Pretty great. Traveling to the next yard took about 15 minutes, and the ProVap was still at 146 Celsius when we got there. So, a quicker reheat time to start there. We could have wrapped it in insulating foil for travel and kept it hotter. I hope this video about the cordless battery powered ProVap has been helpful. Be sure to click on like and subscribe and send in some comments.